So guys, my wife's car is broken again. This time, I didn't do it. So once in a while, Junior will ask his mother if he can take her car out for a drive. Well, can you blame him? It's a really fun car to drive. But I just got a phone call that says, I think I broke mom's car. I asked him what happened. He said he was driving down the road and he heard something just clang, 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 clang. And uh, so he gets out and what does he see? He sees a bungee cord hanging out of this brand new tire. Now granted the cord was hanging down, it was flopping all over the place. The cord also was long enough to damage the rear view mirror. So I'm gonna swing this around so you can see it. But there's a rear view mirror. I would say the bottom end of it came up, smacked it, and shattered it. Luckily for us, a replacement rear view mirror lens is only about 20 or 25 dollars at the glass shop. And from what I can tell, that piece of metal is keeping the air in the tire. Now if you remember, just a couple of weeks ago we put four brand new snow tires on this car. So what we're gonna have to do is take the tire off, break it down, get the piece of metal out and put a patch plug on the inside. So we're gonna go do that right now and we'll show you how to install a patch plug. All right, so we got Mama's car in here and you get a better look at that broken mirror. Come out and hit right here. And that is a heated mirror, so you can see the heating element coming in behind that. Didn't really do any other damage. You got some um, slap marks here all over the side from where the black bungee cord came up and grabbed it. But I think most of that will buff out. And we've got the tire off the rim. We've got it marked where the hole is. So now we're just going to buff this little spot here, make it a clean spot for the uh, plug to go through. And this is the plug that we put in. It comes through the inside of the tire out. And then once it gets out there, we just cut off the excess and seal it from the inside. So let's do that. So in there you can see where the plug comes out and it virtually now is just part of the tire. Once it's in there we seal it with this vulcanizing fluid and that will seal around the edges and uh, bond it to the rubber in the tire. And that will seal out or seal in the air when you go to put this back on the rim. So that's the benefit of using a patch plug like this versus a temporary plug like this. These in a lot of provinces and states are not legal for a permanent repair on a tire. Temporary to get you to where you're going and then you get one of these put in. Usually when you go to get these put in it's just a few bucks but this one here because you have to tear the tire down off the rim uh, the repair usually will run you somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks and then you've got to generally have the tire balanced again. So it's a little bit more expensive repair but it is a permanent repair. So let's get it back on the rim and back on the car.
see all those black marks on the side of the fender. We've got some 3N rubbing compound. We're going to try and uh, rub that off there with a microfiber. So just a dab will do you. Just like new. So we're gonna give our local speedy glass a call and see how much this uh, rear view mirror is gonna cost us. Six twenty-eight. That's just the glass. Probably because it's heated, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, I'll see what we're gonna do, and I'll call you right back. Great, thanks, Greg. Wow, almost a hundred bucks for that lens. Normally, they would run you, like I said, about twenty bucks or so, which is what Greg confirmed. But because it's heated, it's. Uh, Got the heating element that's got to be replaced with it. So, just for the heck of it, I'm going to call the dealer and see what the dealer has to say. How many thousands of dollars? Really? And and that's heated on that particular model. That's what I need is just a reflective surface. If that's uh, if that's 45 bucks, I'll take it. Perfect, thank you. Bye. So it always pays to call the dealer sometimes. So what was gonna cost me $96 at the Speedy Glass, um, it's gonna be $45 at the dealer. So I got the dealer to order that for me and we'll have that hopefully in a couple of days and we'll have a video on it to show you what it looks like to replace that. So we're just getting ready to take Mama back her car, and I'm still not sure that you guys got a very good look at the broken rear view mirror. She broke. Anyways, as you saw, we have got one coming from the dealer, and they'll order it today. Hopefully we'll have it on uh, Tuesday, and we'll get this thing torn apart and back together. That'll be another video, like I said. Guys, just a reminder that the contest is still on. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by January the 31st. I hope that you can help. If you're not subscribed, please do so now. If we get to that point, I'm giving away $1,000 cash. So spread the word, tell your friends, make sure that you get everybody involved because in order for me to give that money away, we've got to reach, the, uh, we've got to reach that goal. So Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts and hoodies are still on sale at the link in the description box below. You can get your very own, many colors and the prices are very reasonable. If you order now, you just might get it in time for Christmas. Guys, thanks for tuning in as always. I really appreciate you watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, hopefully we can get to that goal of a thousand subscribers. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.